Potential in them yet. It's got a nice red in its head. It's really good on now, they have. A massive fish that one is. So, what I'll do is go and grab the Yushiko one and show you that one. See you in a second. And there's a Yoshiko one as well. Some competitive ones. Obviously it's a lot more sumi now. It's more darker sumi, so they've got another one coming as well. Less uh, sumi on the head. Plenty of potential coming in. So in these Easter ones, definitely need to go on a bit of a diet, I think. So I'll stop feeding them for three days now, I think. Let them come off the food. So obviously they are getting plenty of food. So even this small one now has gone a lot bigger. That one's gone massive, that is a huge fish. I'm saying this one's still got his body, the Shikoi one. Beautiful Sumi, beautiful Benny. Beautiful fish, even his fins. So the other one I've got as well, there's a lot uh, more white on that one as well. Some people say it's got a black head. I'm saying that will change. Hope for the white. I'll spread again on it. It's a gorgeous fish. Let's measure that one up. 26 cm. Plenty of grow. Beautiful body. Beautiful skin condition. Same with these. He's nothing with these. He's a beautiful body as well. He's a massive body. So Benny's nice on his head. Plenty of potential. But the cheeky guy. A lot cheaper fish. And the quality is still there. So he's going to need to go to Japan for them. Obviously, the cheeky guy does the job. Looks after the fish. And uh, the parents are originally from Japan anyway, so exactly the same fish. 
So you've got Yoss Abin, he's the main breeder at the farm, with Merv as well. So and, uh, really the quality second to none, really. So it's lots of people, people's opinions. So I'll leave it to it. Some people say it's already finished, but we'll see. Time will tell. Let me go from there. Right, I'll put these back, get a couple of Christian guys out. And uh, the kayaker as well. I'll see you in a second. That is the uh, two kayakers we've got as well. So you can see how these grow on. Gorgeous fish. You see we've got the Gibbon kayaker. A small little fish. Plenty of potential in it, plenty of breaks. Gorgeous little fish. This one measures 17 cm. So I just noticed that's got a bit of seam in its head as well. So we'll see if that disappears in the future. So it's got loads of potential, that's loads of potential. We've got another Kahaku here. Different again, completely different. The Benny is outstanding on that. Nice breaks. Beautiful lust on its skin. Gorgeous fish. So I love his head pattern. Very different. Is it that one? Twenty-one cm. So I'm really happy with these. Beautiful fish. See, it's got blue eyes as well, not red eyes. Same with this one. Yep, yeah, blue eyes. Beautiful fish. So, uh, looking forward to these ones growing on. Let's see what we end up with. Right, I'm going to put these back, catch a couple of Chrissy guys, and see how they're getting on. And see you in a second. Right, these are the four Chrissy guys you got. So these are three Deutsch ones, and one uh, scared one. The scared one, I just noticed his tail's just bent at the back a little bit. It's a shame really. And a gorgeous little fish. There's three Deutsch ones. So now yeah, I can put some size on now. So to give them the space. So then give the fish the space and that's what you get. And so he's over a year old now these are. So when he's last uh, June time. So the 30 month old. And it's only not had a space till the last few months. And they're really starting to pack some size on. The same we have over uh, your sheep go as well. The Karishi goes over there, amazing, honestly, amazing. So the scales on this, but when you go over there, it's in uh, Jack the Golden Reefer. He's got a video coming up soon. We've been over to Poland and done a video. So there's some outstanding fish over there. Some beautiful Karishi goes. So there's a challenge coming up. I want to join. So uh, do get on that challenge. Have a good nosy. So there's definitely some beautiful Karishi goes coming up soon. So you'll all see. It's a nipple to Jack's channel, the Golden Reefer. So there's plenty of Christian guys coming. Good challenge to be at. So we've got a couple also on myself. So I'll grow them on my own pond and see how we get on. So he's now with these Christian guys, getting nice little bleach ones. Nice pattern down this side, a little linear. There's a shame about this one. His tail's just kinked a little bit. Over that nice little fish. Right, I'll put these back and catch a couple more. And let's see me grow ones. I'll see you in a second. So these will be three sankers that I've been growing on. So I'm really putting the size on now. So the big one is 20, 25cm. So I can't remember exactly what it was. It's a couple of months ago when I did it. So I'll have a look back and see what size it is. Next one, number two. Twenty-four, I think. Yeah, twenty-four cm. Small one's coming up. Twenty exactly. Twenty cm. So I'm happy with them. 
So then my last year's babies what I've got left for the ones that I lost. These we've put in a separate tank. So we've really got some nice potential on now. So it's got plenty of seams to come out yet. As you can see, blue underneath. That's a nice sanky that is though. I love that sanky already. Definitely going in my pond, it's a bit bigger. Gorgeous little fish. I'm well happy with that one. It's a 25, I think I said, like that one. Yeah, 25 cm. So when it gets about 30, 35, I should put it in my pond. Alright, I'll go and see the shear rolls, catch them up, and let you have a look at them. I'll see you in a second. Right, here's my two shear rolls and my kahaku. I've also just snapped my net as well, trying to catch them. I'll show you that in a minute. There's two shear rolls and a big kahaku. So definitely put some size on now. It's a beautiful gimrin shear roll. Gorgeous little fish now. Quick measure that one. So I can't remember what it was before. 25 cm. So there's a couple of them to go and measure it. There's the other shear roll. Long in one. Beautiful pattern on his head. So it's got a lot of growing that to do. A lot of potential to come out. Oh, this one measure 20, 25 also. So the gimmick one has caught it up. Obviously the body is different size. So uh, definitely nice fish. Beautiful fish. So I'm well happy with them. This one's what I picked myself at the Thousand Fry a couple of years ago. So they are on the east side. Obviously they've been stumping the growth. 20, 26 now the kayaki was. Got some big body on that. So I'm definitely going to stop feeding these for three days. Uh, like Yos, uh, Yoshiko told me today. I'm just going to start putting the gear on. Slow the food down for three days, get the metabolism, metabolism right. And then they'll start getting the food in. And the body start working again. So I'm well happy with them. Well happy. It's full of spins. Beautiful. Different other fish. So this one here looks like wings, this one. Like a butterfly type. It's not a butterfly one, but fins on it. Some big fins gonna be. Gorgeous little fish. Right, I'm gonna put them back. Well happy with them. So I'll have a look for my measurements in uh, my last couple of uh, videos a few months ago and see how much they grow. Keep an eye on it. Keep vlogging them. Right, I'll see you soon. Right, there's my net. Not snapped. Not happy at all. I've seen snapped off there. Clean me up a little bit. I'll say it must have had a knot or something in there. It must have been a knot as I pulled it through. So it is a fine mesh as you go for the water back in two. So my fish are only small fish. If you have 40, 50 cm fish, it'd be not a problem because they're not as fast as these little buggers. Some smaller fish, a bit of pain to catch. Anyway, we're all settled in now. Back in there. You can see you've got the two kahakus. Jin Shikioi is that one. And they give me one from that. I've got the one up by one. That one there. Then they've got plenty of tension to come up. And also the darker shower. Jin Shikioi. And the two used to show us are settled in nicely again. And the fish are going to settle in. Sanky settled in. And the shield are settled in. I'm not happy with that really. Not happy with the growth rate they've been on. Obviously, give them the space, give them the time, give them the food. Decent food. So we've got some more food coming soon as well from Shiki Goy. So there's not uh, much waste of that or oh, good protein as well. So not a lot of waste, so I'll be definitely feeding that when that comes in stock. Which hopefully should be the next week or two. I'm saying there's no time on that exactly yet. I'm saying I'll soon find out. Right, I'll get this uh, all put back together. Stop them jumping out. Get the screen on here. I think we've broken that away. Get all that sorted out. Ah, I'm really happy with them. And, uh, all the other grow ones are growing really good. So give them the space, give them the food. So really happy with them. They're growing well, really. So the uh, Easter Showers have really packed some size on that. So they've had the space in that in there. So a good check out today. They're all looking good. Also the Ishii Kigoi Shower. So I can't wait to see that grow. It's going to be a nice fish size. So I'm really happy with that. Same with the Kayakus, they're really nice fish. And the River Lumbi Sankis. The Sankis have really gone now. So uh, that big Sanky, I'm really happy with that one. See the Shiro's there, growing boolet as well. Good size fish really, good size fish. Anyway, thanks for all watching, so do appreciate it. Subscribe to us, thumbs up, 
and uh, those are subscribed. Thank you very much. Right, let's see you in the next one. See you again.